This, this is Tao Didi TV here. It's quite late right now, but I have to do this video because it's very important to me. Today, the 1st of August 2024, the youth are preparing right now to go for peaceful demonstration, which they titled Planned Protest Against Bad Governance in Nigeria. Nigeria is in a big mess in terms of economy. The governance is very overwhelming. Now, let me recap a little bit from when the president was inaugurated. Our present president, called Bola Ahmed Tinubu, was inaugurated as the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria on the 29th of May 2023. Apparently, he's the 16th and the present president of the Republic of Nigeria. After having served as the governor of Lagos State right from 1999 up until 2007. Right? Now, President Tinubu, prior to you being inaugurated as the president president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, the indigenes of Nigeria were hoping for better governance. Everyone was dreaming for better economy, better livelihood, better living. Now, you've already, you're already in the office for one year plus. So from the May 29th of 2023, up until 1st of August today, 2024, that is a year plus. And I believe that a good president should be in a position to have turned situations around. A good president should have made the economy of the country, which is ruling, much better. But unfortunately, the reverse is the case. People are dying. The news about Nigeria is global. People are dying on a daily basis, Mr. Tinobu. There is scarcity of food in your country. People are dying of illness. People are dying of uh, starvation. People are dying of stress. People are dying of frustration. People are dying of so many reasons. And I'm wondering, you being the president of a rich country called Nigeria, a country that is rich in oil, a country that is rich in gas and other minerals and other resources. I'm wondering where all of this money are going. Now, there are three tiers of government, the local, the state and the federal government. Now, money is being disbursed to all these tiers of government for proper governance, right? And I don't seem to agree with you that the economy, that money is being properly disbursed for the betterment of the people in your country. Otherwise, why would kg of rice be something that an average salary earner is not able to afford to buy farm products are now st stories of the past very difficult for people to put food on the table the poor are getting poorer, the rich are getting richer. In my previous video, I enumerated about Nigeria bad economy 
I was thinking that by now things should have gotten better, but rather things are getting worse. Now, these youths, they are going out there today and they have the following reasons, just to mention a few. Number one, there, there is scarcity of petrol, according to their statements. There is no petrol in the country. People cannot drive their cars, people cannot drive their motorbikes, people cannot use fuel to power up their generators and do their jobs, to do their businesses. Two, house rent is skyrocketing. People can no longer afford to pay their house rents. Some people now are homeless because they cannot afford the money. Unnecessary taxing. People are being taxed unnecessarily for no reasons. As a result of what? Corruption. There is serious inflation. Too much money chasing too few goods. Ordinary vegetables. Tomatoes. Pepper. Vegetables, green vegetables, people can no longer afford to buy them to make food to eat. What's going on? What the hell is going on in Nigeria, a rich country? The cost of living is overwhelming. Buildings are being demolished for no reasons. People are losing their businesses. Infrastructures are going down the drain. There is high level of corruption. Take money to collect this, use money to buy this. People are using money to buy money in Nigeria. People are using money to get their own money in Nigeria. On head of. Police is there brutalizing people. What's going on? Collecting bribe from people. Minimum wage is another issue. Salaries are no longer being paid. People are no longer being paid according to their outputs, according to their capacity in their job areas. Medical doctors, majority now are relocating to overseas because they're not well paid. People are dying of illnesses. People are dying of hunger. What the heck is going on in Nigeria? The government is not paying attention to the needs of the people that they are governing, to the needs of the and the welfare of the people of the country. Nigeria being a democratic country where people have the right, people have the privilege to aid their feelings, to say what their needs are, to complain, to demonstrate peacefully about their needs. Now, let me advise, as the youth are out there, doing their demonstration, nobody should touch them. Nobody should embarrass them. Nobody should harass them. Nobody should attempt to harm them or to hurt them. They should be allowed to do their demonstrations peacefully. And then the youth, you guys should do your demonstrations maturely and peacefully. Don't go about breaking, spoiling, damaging, destroying people's businesses, please, because that will not help matters. Go out in the streets, sing, do your demonstrations peacefully and maturely. Demonstrations are allowed everywhere as long as they are done peacefully and responsibly. Therefore, they should be allowed, the youth should be allowed to do their demonstrations. The country, the situation of Nigeria is becoming overwhelming, is becoming unheard of. People think there's nothing moving in Nigeria. The rich are getting richer, the while the poor, poor are getting poorer. Why should that be? This is not right. So the youth, I wish you guys all the best. Go out there, do your demonstrations, and come back home, okay? Wish you all the best, and I love you all. Up until now, I'll see you again in my next one.